What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and a video that I've been shouting about on Instagram for quite some time. I've just headed up the M1 with Sam seen through glass in his F-Type and Mark from Driven Leasing. You may remember that BMW from when we picked up TGE's G-Wagon. This is a stunning, it's actually an M6 color, but it is on an M3, super rare in the UK. We had a little convoy up to Urban Automotive in Milton Keynes. You'll probably know this company from Yanni Mize. Yanni owns an urban Range Rover Vogue. It's stunning, it used to be in Nardo Grey and Yanni called it the Elephant. We are down at their headquarters in Milton Keynes and inside they have got some stunning cars, but outside there is an Audi RS3, which is really, really nice. Anyway, today I'm gonna to be driving their Urban Range Rover SVR, the top of the range Range Rover, customized by Urban. It looks absolutely stunning. Very similar color to the BMW M3. So let's head inside, check out their unit that they've got. Some stunning kit inside and probably something for everyone. So let's go. So ladies and gentlemen, here is the Urban Range Rover SVR. It is a 2015 Range Rover SVR with some very special urban bits and bobs added to it. Standard, the Range Rover SVR comes with 550 brake horsepower, five liter V8 supercharged engine, which is exactly the same as Sam's F-Type. But Urban have tuned this up to 595 brake horsepower. So this thing is gonna be an animal. I'm very excited to get behind the wheel, find out a little bit about the car. Me and Sam are gonna go for a drive, explore it, experience it, and hopefully relay a pretty cool video for you guys to watch as well. I'm just excited to see what 595 brake horsepower feels like in a car that is that big. So the SVR has got sport seats uh, for a Range Rover. That is a pretty crazy addition, and the back seats are as sporty as the front seats we've got stunning logo there imprinted onto the car and the interior has got really really nice finishes all around check out the interior center console i'm going to shut the door as well and we've got all of these buttons down here gear select all of the different drive selects which we're definitely going to explore this puts it into dynamic mode that looks like it's got some sort of tree this is desert because it's got a cactus and no idea what that is but all sorts of fun and interesting things because this is a four by four I can't believe now that I've turned 25 and immediately I'm oh, just setting your heated seats up. Yeah. You're quite familiar with these buttons in this car because it is well Jaguar-esque. My dad has a Range Rover. Oh yeah. So I know, I'm very true. familiar with Range Rovers, but then this also has some added hmm. buttons similar to the F-Type. So all in all, it feels like home. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to get nice to grips. Thing. Get to grips. By the way, Sam, welcome to Supercars London YouTube channel. Thank you, it's a fantastic sort of. experience. So we've got the, we've got the valves on, yeah. let's leave traction on to begin with. Yeah. You're in dynamic mode, do you know that? I am in dynamic mode, yeah, because that's how they left it. Cool. Let's, 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 let's go for a drive. Hi ho. Oh, it's got a lovely rumble to it. It's got a lovely, lovely rumble to it. Oh, it's got a lovely rumble to it. Look how big these carbon wing mirrors are as well. Look at them. <laughs> I've never driven a Range Rover before. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome. It's so nice in here, actually. The roof is awesome. Panoramic sunroofs, I'm a big fan of. Yeah. It does have a good <laughs> Different sound to my car, though. Even though yeah, it's, I think it's, it's a different it's, rumble. Yeah. I assume that they've done something completely different to either the pipes or the, the way that it goes from the engine out the back of the exhaust. Yeah. What do you reckon the best way out of this industrial estate is? I 
back in this way. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just taking it, I'm just taking it through. And oh man, it's so comfy. It's so comfy. You're gonna buy a Range Rover. Do you realise that? I'm the best things in the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> so for those that never saw my content about the BMW X5 to begin with, I didn't get why someone needed a car so big. And after a while, the road presence, how you just sit on the road high up amongst every, compared to everything else, especially things like the Lamborghini, I did start getting used to it and I did start sort of quite enjoying the whole experience of driving a 4x4 car. I still didn't get why you have so much space back here. Like, what is that for? I, other people. Yeah, but... Other people have friends, Paul. Oh, okay. Sometimes they like right. to drive their friends around. Right, okay. Not just their girlfriend that <laughs> yeah. never appears on camera. <laughs> Convenient. <laughs> I am I'm a go massive... Here, actually. I'm going to go left. Okay. Oh, that's so beefy. That's right, but cool. Oh, yeah, right. I'm going to go right. <laughs> I'm feeling more and more safe as the day goes on. We've got the sun, which is very low. Ooh. Handles really well. This is like 50% throttle, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell this thing is ready to fly. Yeah. yeah. See, it's interesting you say that because the standard Range Rover Sport my dad has, which is not an SVR, it's like a diesel, I don't think it handles well. I mean, it's so comfortable and I love spending time in it, but it's a big cruiser. I don't think Is it a bit it has, Yeah, it doesn't have sport. It feels very floaty, which means it's got a comfy ride. But do you think that this feels a bit more planted? Yeah. I mean, I imagine the SVR. I have no that, Range Rover experience whatsoever, but it feels planted. That's interesting. This is a five litre V8. And it's a stock 550 brake, but with the urban magic touch, it's 595. Wow. Yeah, so surely they have to build a lot. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put it into manual. It feels scary in a car this big. There's a downshift. Oh, my lord. That is outrageous. The whole thing lifted up. Hi, ho, Silver. Away! <laughs> Do you know why I, I'm immediately in love with this car is because it's it's just got that it's got that antisocial behaviour in the four x four shell. Like you can take your mates if you had any to the shops. Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't know what it's like. Imagine this on like a European drive. <laughs> I knew this is where this was going to go. <laughs> Please do not buy a Range Rover for the Euro trip. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> I guess the thing which is amazing about this car is that you can have the absolute luxury of Range Rover, which is what I think everyone loves. Not only luxury, technology. Technology, but I mean, it's just such a comfy place to be, such mm. a nice place to be. But then you've got the lunacy of, what did you say, a 590 brake horsepower? 595. 595. brake horsepower. <laughs> I mean, a V8 is... supercharge. This I tell you what, though, one thing that I haven't noticed as much when I've been putting my foot down is the supercharged wine. Do you reckon they've engineered that out of the car? Let's experiment. That's, That's just a lot of rumble, isn't it? Yeah. But okay, what would be interesting? So in my car because obviously I have the same engine. There's a tiny, I guess it may be from about 5,000 RPM, where it does this like the overdrive almost. I call it the second valve, but I think it's actually like a it's supercharger overdrive. So let's find like a okay. big open road. Where we can get to 70 miles an hour. Yeah, and try yeah, and, and yeah. be in manual, and get, kick it above four and a half thousand. Here's 5,000. Do you yeah, not hear it? Yeah, yeah, it does it do like an overdrive. It kicks up a little bit. Yeah. Way. I don't know if that's just because that's where all the horsepower is sitting or all the torque is sitting waiting to kick in. But it's the same, it does the exact same thing in the F-Type yeah. that I always play in the second valve. I just had a crack. I just had an exhaust down shot. That's amazing. It is so good. A 4x4 four four that looks... This is like the supercar 4x4. Four four. This is amazing. This is amazing. We shouldn't be talking. Shh.
I can just imagine what this looks like. You literally plant your foot on the floor, the nose is, imagine if we film this in slow motion, the nose would just go <laughs> like that. Or right into my face. Yeah, that's exactly what would happen. <laughs> right, we've come to the end of this driving experience. I wouldn't say it's a review because it's just, it just can't be called a review. Are you okay? Oh uh, yeah, I thought I saw a cool car. Okay. I didn't. <laughs> Let's try and summarize with the sun in our eyes. The best way of describing the urban automotive Range Rover SVR. So I think I'm gonna start with saying that it's a supercar in a Range Rover body. I think that's how I'm gonna start. Is it, is it a game? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you okay. go, you go, you go. I'm going to start. <laughs> I actually think I got whiplash. <laughs> I'm going to start by saying I think it's a really great Range Rover SVR. Because... It's really great, is that... Yeah, because I, I think I knew what to expect with the SVR. Right, okay, yeah. I wasn't You're that excited. More... I was, I was really excited. Yeah, because... Never driven, I've never driven a Range Rover before. Well, that's it. I'm very familiar with Range Rovers, and I'm very familiar with this 5-litre V8. But then when we turned up, Urban have taken it from a cool Range Rover into something which I think is really unique and awesome. Yeah. So it, 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 it elevates it high. Okay. So what you rather than saying it's a great Range Rover SVR, what you're saying is it's a better... Range Rover SVR. I think what I'm trying to say is it's a supercar in a Range Rover body. <laughs> <laughs> so we have found this awesome open space car park in Milton Keynes where we have taken the urban Range Rover SVR to take one final look at the car from the exterior but also take some photos for Instagram and what a stunning car so much road presence and hopefully you have enjoyed this video i've thoroughly enjoyed driving this car the camera inside is still rolling so i'd just like to say a huge thank you to urban automotive and driven leasing for making this day possible this is actually filmed on my birthday tuesday the 19th of january so thank you very much for this i suppose birthday present what an unbelievable car hundred and thirteen thousand pounds but as Range Rovers go, the SVR is top of the line and Urban have certainly even put it above that line. So make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and you love this car, if you love the paint, like just what a stunning, stunning spec car. And also subscribe if you haven't already because there's gonna be a lot more cool stuff happening like I've mentioned in this video. Hopefully I'm gonna be having some cool access to some cars like a Ferrari F12. That is happening, so make sure that you're tuning into that. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Cheers, guys. This is Seb's new new daily. Upgrade from the Lotus. <laughs> An upgrade from the Lotus. Can I get in it? <laughs> no, Sam, please don't. <laughs> don't get in it. Will they let me? I could just hang my legs on either side. I don't even think I don't think adults can fit in there, to be honest. But oh my god, I've not seen one of these. Forever. I think I've seen three Maserati MC12s.